Welcome everybody to A Book and a Beer, the YouTube channel that combines reading and drinking. This week we're talking about A Peculiar Peril by Jeff Vandermeer of the Annihilation series. I haven't read the Annihilation series yet, but with all the good things I've heard about it for years and years, I was really excited for this book. When I started reading A Peculiar Peril, gotta be honest, I thought I was gonna really like it. it, it it's funny. It might even be too funny for someone like me. As I was reading this, I came to a lot of parts where I thought, there's a joke in here, and I just don't get it. Someone smarter than me would get it, but me? No. No. The beer I chose this week is Barking Squirrel, and there's a reason for that. Peculiar Peril has this odd fascination, obsession, theme with marmots throughout the whole book. There he is. See a little guy there? Marmot. And marmots are technically large ground squirrels, so... Barking squirrel. Ground squirrel. My copy is an arc provided by the good people at Raincoast Books and Farrar, Strauss, and Giraud. Giraud. Strauss? Giraud? Is that how you say that? This week's beer was brought to you by the money from my wallet. Never judge a beer on the first drink. So Jonathan Lambshead is gonna inherit his grandfather's massive mansion, uh, which is like a hoarder's dream, uh, but him and his two friends have to catalog the whole contents before he gets it. Now the house doesn't just have a whole bunch of weird crap in it, and there's a lot of weird crap in it. It also has doorways to an alternate universe called Aurora, where there's talking potatoes and carrots that walk around hand in hand. Check this out. Fast on their heels scampered a foot-tall carrot with orange arms and legs popping out from a pale wrinkled torso. Beneath a frazzled froth of green leaves spurting from the top of its head, the carrot had scared dots for eyes and a startled O oh for a mouth. It was holding hands with a little, a little potato person. A potato a bit smaller than the carrot with large bloodshot eyes and a slit for a mouth, sturdy legs, pudgy arms. At the first floor landing, they paused at the headlong rush to look at him. Jonathan stared in astonishment, mouth open, frozen. The carrot's expression had changed from fear to irritation. It said to his companion in a harsh, judgmental tone, he's not from around here. He'll last a day at most, the potato said, in the most melodious voice Jonathan had ever heard. I gave it an hour. Oh well, not our problem, the carrot said, glaring at Jonathan. Can't even speak, the potato said. He's got no chance at all. It continues, but you get my point. I think I would have liked this book a lot more if it was maybe... Maybe that big. Or maybe that big. So Barking Squirrels and Amber Lager from the Hop City Brewing Company, brewed in Brampton, Ontario, which is actually just about two hours away from where I am. According to Hop City Brewing Company, this is their flagship brew, a superbly smooth balancing act of noble hop bitterness and caramel malt sweetness. This is a nice change because there's a lot of IPAs in this area, and you're going to see a lot of IPAs on this channel. A lot of the writing in this book reminded me of Douglas Adams or maybe even some of the Neil Gaiman stuff. But let's compare. A Peculiar Peril, Life, the Universe, and Everything. The world of Aurora is more than walking and talking carrots and potatoes. I'm a little stuck on that, I know. However, there's also big, giant, mechanical elephants that are powered by earthworms and walls of giant leeches. And Jules Verne is there for some reason. And Napoleon is, uh, he's just ahead now. But he's back. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm still going to read Annihilation, but it may have moved down a few spots on my TBR. Real talk, I'm a sucker for a good label, and the illustration of the squirrel on there, 
I think hits it just right. It's cartoony, but it's not ridiculous. You know what? It really does balance bitterness and sweetness. Unfortunately, A Peculiar Peril is only going to get a 4 out of 10 from me. I found some things funny earlier on in the book. The first third, I thought I was really going to like it. And after that, everything just fell off for me. It didn't leave me wanting more. It was hard to pick up after that. And I have little to no interest in any kind of sequel. The beer, however, I'm going to give a solid 8. It's smooth. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste. And I do want more. So I'm going to have some more. If you want to know more about the book or the beer from this week, the info's down below. I'm going to go finish my beer, but if you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and tell your friends. If you have a favorite book or a favorite beer and you'd like to see it on this show, well, let me know in the comments down below. I think that's all for this week, so why don't you go read a book and drink a beer. I'll see you next time. Cheers. My copy is an art provided by the good people at Ferrar. I can't say that. I can't say it. Lamb's head? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's many. And a little anim. Oh, God. Well, I think that's all for this week. So do something. Now, drink a book and read a beer. Smart.